Okay, everybody, let's jump right into this haul. Um, get down to the nook about these uh, 24 hour color tattoos because I got all tinks though. I got um, Audacious Asphalt, and the packaging looks like this. And it's supposed to be 24 hours. Uh, everybody now are using them as bases um, instead of eyeshadows because they remind you of Max Paint Pots and stuff like that. There's a Mac Paint Pot, and then here's the um, Maybelline 24 hour eyeshadow. And you get. Um, you get 14 ounces, which is 4 grams of product in the 24 hour shadows, and you get 5 grams in here, so a little bit more in max. But this is pretty much uh, a little bit over six dollars. That color, um, audacious asphalt, is it's just a silver, and it looks like this very, very this tough as taupe. And this is one of the neutral colors that you gals should go out and get. Very similar to Painterly Paint Pot by Mac. This one is 45 bold gold. And this is a very beautiful gold color. Next one I got is 40 Tenacious oh, Tenacious 2. <laughs> Do the number. So it's a 2. Bluish 2. It's very pretty. The Pomegranate Ponk. This one's my favorite. You guys know I love cranberry colors. I love, obviously purple's my favorite color, but I love cranberry colors like this. This is the Too Cool, and it's a pearlescent white color. Um, very pretty. This is Fierce and Tangy. Which is a very beautiful orange. How could you not? How could you pass this up? How could you pass this up? Bad to bronze. And this one's very pretty. I don't have a paint pot that's very similar to this, so I was excited to get this color right here to use as a base. It's um, painted purple. And I used it today um, on my eyes, and I have a little bit of sugar pill going on. Uh, you guys see I got lashes going on. It's a new year, new things. So, um, yeah, I'm trying different stuff here. So I got this on today um, as a base um, underneath my eyeshadow that I have on today, Edgy Emerald, and it's the green one. I forgot to show you guys. That's the tenth one that I have. I got three of the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows, and these things are really, really good. I was like, oh my god, what is the hype that everybody is going? Why are they going crazy over these things? Because when I see swatches of these things. It's like, it's not all that to me. It's like, okay, I, you know, I'll be alright without it. I got these things and I'm like, I want freaking more, okay? This is reminding me of, of Inglot, you know, how it feels and everything. So anyway, um, this is the color I have on my eyelids today. I sprayed a little bit of Max Fix Plus and then um, this is the Perpetual Purple. It's a creamy purple, but they're so creamy. I'm sorry, you guys, for the way my hands look. They're all swatched up from a Inglot. But look at that. So creamy, so soft. It reminds me of the pearlescent finish eyeshadows from Inglot. Okay? And I just spray a little fix bust on that to kind of get the foil look going on here. Next is the Midnight Blue. And look at that. I'm telling you, you guys, if anybody has Maxi and Sky, I don't, but I've been wanting that forever. Couldn't find it. Tell me that's not the blue for Maxi and Sky. Hmm. Pretty close, right? Very beautiful. The last one I have is the Continuous Cocoa. And they do come with this little silver push down thing in it. But I took mine out. And there's that. Swatch that on a clean finger, and it's like a deep brown. Great, great, great for the outer V. Beautyjoint.com. You guys probably can't see that, but anyway, I wanted to order some things from them. Um, the first thing I got was some red cherry lashes, which I have now. I always wanted to try these, and I can say I really, really like them. They're natural hair lashes. They're like $2.99 each, is what I paid for them, and I got five pair. Obviously, I'm wearing one now, but these are the number 62s. And they are so pretty, and they, they're they thick, you know, they're not too thick, overly thick, but they look natural, and they're wispy, and you guys know about their eyeshadows already, but I wanted to try them, and I got five colors, and um, the five colors I got was, um, the first one is Splurge, and look at that, such a pretty green, and I'm sure I have something similar to this in Inglot, but look, it swatches so beautifully, it's so pigmented. <clears throat> Next color I got was a silver color, and this one is called Idolize, and it looks like that. It's like a bluish silver, and it 
swatches like this. Very pretty. Dark silver, and this one is called Gum Metal, and it's exactly what it is. Gum Metal color. And it's swatched right there. Very, very pretty. These also remind me of Inglot's pearlescent finish uh, eyeshadows as well. These next two right here, okay, I'm not going to say they are dupes from Max. What is everybody using imposters nowadays? But this is Max Freshwater. Okay, this is Jordana Alter Ego. I'm going to swatch both of these and you guys tell me what you guys think. Can you tell which is which? Can you tell which is which? This one right here is Jordana, Alter Ego. This one right here is MAC Freshwater. Can you tell the difference at all? This one's $14.50 with a clamshell, $11 for refills. The Jordana one was like $2.99. Can you tell the difference? I can't. I can't at all. Great imposter. That's an imposter. This is Mac DeVille. This is Jordana, a classic. There they are together. Can you tell which is which? <clears throat> Can you tell which is which? <laughs> This is Mac. This is Mac DeVille. This is Jordana. The Jordana one is called a classic. Jordana, Mac. Can you tell the difference? I can't. Once again, Mac, $14.50, $11 for refills. Jordana. And you can um you can depot these too. You can depot the Jordana ones too. Just like Mac, and they're the same size. Let me see. Mac is 1.3 grams, and Jordana is 1.65. So you get more in the Jordana. I just got the Elf Mineral Infused Face Primer right here. I've been wanting to try this. I heard it's very, very, very good. Um, it's one of Elf's best sellers, and in their uh, cosmetic line so I wanted to try that. I will let you guys know how that worked. I also got the e.l.f. high definition powder. This is also a number one seller on the site. <clears throat> it comes with a little fluffy and it's very much translucent powder but it's supposed to give you the high definition finish. Next I got two of their primers I wanted to try. This one is called Sheer and this one is called Pearl. Um, but I heard their primers are really good. They're only a dollar, so I just decided to pick up two of those. Um, the next thing is my beautiful little Elf Kabuki brush. It is so, so soft, and I think it was like three, six dollars, three dollars, one of those. Um, but it's very, very pretty and very, very soft. This is one of their number one sellers as well. I got two of these uh, retractable lip brushes from Elf. Uh, I don't like to use my synthetic brushes because they get very hard to clean lip products on so this one is retractable it has a little ball on the end and you stick it down in here like that and then you have your lip brush right here that you can use so I bought two of those they were like three dollars or something like that so I also got my handy dandy elf wipes because I love these things I got three packs of the elf wipes Stay tuned because I'm going to put everything that I haul in back in its home and I'm going to show you how I store everything and how I keep everything um, in just my makeup collection. It's not huge but it is um, decent size and I can show you maybe some storage ideas or whatever. So um, yeah, thank you guys so much and stay blessed and I will see you in the last video for today. Alright, bye.